In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness, and the light he called day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. On the second day, God stretched the skies as far as the eyes could see, and he separated the waters below from the waters above and created an expanse in which his creation could dwell. On the third day, God separated the dry land from the waters, and God saw that the land was good, and God created vegetation and plant life that could reproduce itself, and God saw that it was good. And on the fourth day, God created the stars of the heavens and the sun that shines during the day and the moon that shines at night and he created the seasons and signs of change and God saw that it was good. And on the fifth day, God created the animals and the ecosystems of the seas and rivers and lakes and he created the animals and the ecosystems of the skies and God saw that it was good. And on the sixth day, God created the livestock and the animals who walk on dry land. And then God said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. And let him have dominion over the fish of the seas and over the birds of the heavens and over every creeping thing that creeps on this earth. And so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them and he blessed them. And he said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the seas and over the birds of the heavens and over every single thing on this earth. And it was so. And God saw all that he had created and behold, it was very good.